Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hi, my name is Justine. I'm a nurse. Um, I recently just left my job. I moved and I'm now starting a new job in the emergency room. And my first shift is actually next Tuesday. Basically, this week I have like all my software training and HR stuff and all that stuff. So I wanted to film a week in my life, but um, my boyfriend was actually sick this week. So he was here all, all Monday and Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. And so I didn't really want to film around him being sick. And so basically, you guys didn't miss much. Monday, I just had like the regular HR, like welcome, where they talk to you about like, your pay and your insurance and all that stuff. And then yesterday, I had um, software training for a software that we use for like care plans and stuff. I already know it from my old job, but they kind of use it differently. So that's... Um, that's what I did yesterday. Today I actually have a day off. I don't have anything today. So today I need to clean up this place because it has become a mess. I have to clean um, our sheets. I have to vacuum. I have to mop. I have to clean all the bathroom. I have to clean the kitchen. Like, yeah, I have to clean a lot. So that's the plan for today. And then tomorrow I have another training from 8 to 12 on like glucometer and something else. I think pumps or something. And then Friday I have a full day of training. And and then next Monday, I also have a full day of training. And then my first shift is Tuesday night. So come along with me for the next three days. Hopefully it's gonna be exciting. And for now, let's start with some coffee. All right, friends, bathroom is clean, except for like the floor, obviously, but I cleaned, as you saw, the sink, the counter. I scrubbed down the toilet. I didn't show it because, I don't know, that's weird, but scrubbed it outside, scrubbed it inside. It's nice and clean. You guys saw me do the bath. I did the shower, and now I just have to vacuum and mop, and it'll be clean, but I'll do that at the end um, in the whole apartment. So. Next, I'm going to tackle some dishes and clean the kitchen. All right, so this is before. It's not so bad. I've had much worse. This is before. And this is the after. Oh my God, so much better. The sink has like, okay, I'm not gonna do it now, but it has like the, like the shower head like setting and then you can like pull it down and go and like clean your sink. I absolutely love it. I got this like reusable. It's supposed to be like a reusable paper towel oh it's dirty um reusable paper towel that like it dries up and then you just like wet it and then like you can wash it and stuff i got it from this like zero waste store near me so i can't really link it down below for you guys but if you find some of these i'll try to find some but these are amazing at cleaning like 
they clean the like the watermarks off my sink and like dry it up like look at that it's so beautiful and so satisfying i do this multiple times a day but i love it i love it and i mean it reduces like paper towel waste so i would use this if i had more i would like keep one in the bathroom and like clean my shower my tub with it i think i am because it was three for ten dollars which we got a pack of three my mom got two and i got one but i think i'm gonna go back and get another pack of three because i absolutely love these i need to clean um I just tidy up the living room it's kind of a mess like with blankets my boyfriend was like sleeping here for like three days um clean that up the dining area is pretty much fine oh my god guys see this new light that we got look at that is i don't know if you can see oh they're doing construction <laughs> but isn't that so cool it's like the edison bulbs i find it so 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 pretty i'm so happy they decided to get this one um, and I'm gonna turn the AC back on because it's getting hot in here. I feel like this whole vlog so far is me just cleaning. So if you guys don't like cleaning videos, please let me know because I love them. So I think this whole day is just gonna be me cleaning because after that I really have nothing else to say or do. Um, but the living room is looking smashing. Look at that, nice and clean. Put everything away. Dining room looks good. Kitchen looks good. And so now it's time to clean the floors because, well, nastiness. So let's do that. All right guys, I'm back. My battery died while I was vacuuming, so I had to charge it, but I finished vacuuming. I mopped. The house is now very, very clean. And I just got ready, I put on a bit of makeup, got dressed. I took some pictures for Instagram, um, cause yesterday I went to Giant Tiger, which is kind of like a department store here. You have like clothes and food and all that stuff. And I was looking for like White Cross floral scrubs, cause they have sometimes like really good deals. And I got this one for $7, which like, ah, amazing. It's just like super like comfortable material and I love flower patterns, like they're my favorite. And then this one was not on sale, this one was $25, but I figured the other one was only seven, so like compensated and it was too cute not to get. So I'm gonna go put these in my closet now. I washed them and that's why I was waiting to take the pictures. I forgot to give an update. I never said what time it was, but it's 10.45 now and I think I'm gonna eat something because I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm just gonna have some like blueberry waffles because I'm boring like that. And then I think I'm gonna start editing this so that I don't have too much to do tonight or tomorrow. Yes, I know I'm really boring. I only put butter on my waffles, but that's because I like to eat them like this. I'm still a true Canadian though. now 12 45 and i just spent like an hour editing um 
first part of the vlog and I had 58 minutes of footage and I managed to cut it down to 11 minutes. I did a first edit and then it was like 25 minutes and I was like, no, this is going to be three days. It cannot be this long. So I had to cut it down. I had to cut out a lot of stuff, but it's okay. You guys probably didn't care. Anyways, it's just me talking and stuff. So I'm starting to get hungry. I made um, like pasta with rosé sauce yesterday. So I think I'm going to have that for lunch. And then I actually earlier, while I was watching my, the footage, I was like, oh, I forgot to defrost the chicken for dinner. So I just went and defrosted the chicken for dinner. And they're still doing construction outside. So I hope I'm going to be able to leave my house. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to eat because I'm starving. I'm going to watch some YouTube while I do that. Okay, so it's now 10 to 2 and I'm about to go pick up my stepson from daycare So as you guys saw I made myself a matcha latte and then I'm gonna bring him some water. How cute is this little camelback? Oh my god, it's so cute. It has little dinosaurs on it. So cute And then I'm bringing him a fig bar from nature's bakery to get there it only takes <laughs> It only takes an hour. No, it takes an hour to get there, but it takes an hour and a half to get back. So I have to go all the way back into Mon to the city, to Montreal. I don't have to go like in the city. He's like right at the border, but I still need to cross the bridge. And so crossing the bridge on the way back and like everyone's leaving work and it always takes longer. So going there is an hour, coming back is maybe an hour and a half. So if I leave at two, we'll be home at like 4.30, but then I have to go to Walmart to get milk because we're like all out. So I didn't gonna be like we'll be home by like we'll be home by like 5 5 30 ish and then have dinner at like 6 6 30 it's kind of late and then he'll go to bed at like 7 38 o'clock so i will see you guys in the car <laughs> today i'm in my car right now about to go home for lunch um i had a training this morning near the hospital for like glucometer pump wound care all that kind of stuff like general like welcoming stuff again with the nurse educator which was really nice and i didn't know but i actually have to come back this afternoon because i had three other education days but they were canceled because um since i'm not like a new nurse i only need one day which is pretty nice that means i get three extra days off and i'm not complaining so um, it's 11.53 right now. I'm just gonna go home and eat some lunch since I live like five minutes away, which is so nice. And then I'm gonna come back for like quarter to one. And then we're gonna, f I probably finish around like 4.30. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go have some lunch. I'm gonna eat what I made for dinner yesterday. So let's go. I'm so hungry, oh my God, I need more coffee. <laughs> I'm looking ratchet as hell, but I just showered and washed my hair. I think it's about like 6.30 now. I got home around like 5. I picked up takeout because I was so tired and I didn't want to cook. So that's what we ate. And I thought I would show you guys quickly like what I do after I get out of the shower. I really don't do much as far as like skincare, but I'm kind of breaking out. I think it's like all the stress for my new job. Um, which hasn't even started yet, by the way. But um, I thought I'd show you guys what I do after the shower. You might not care, you might. So the first thing I do is I use, this is probably not gonna focus. Oh, look at that. I use the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty on my face as like moisturizer, duh. And then I use this, which is way um, leaving conditioner. And I use this, you like just spray it in your hair. It's like a cream. And um, it smells so good and it makes my hair feel so soft. I got it in my spring fab but fun. I love it. I've used like a lot of it already. And then I just put moisturizer all over my body. This is the one I've been using recently. It's the Clementine and Mint Leaf from Bath and Body Works and it smells so good. Packaging so cute and I love it. So that's basically all that I do. So I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it, maybe. Um, 
I just got this like package of products for company I'm going to be doing a video for later this month. Um, and I want to test out the products before I like talk about them because I want to see if I like them. And one of them is like a sleep, relax and sleep tablet. So I'm going to take that like soon because I'm so tired. I'm going to go lay in bed and like watch YouTube. So I'm going to take one of those and see like how it makes me feel. And I'll see like I'll take one every day um, or every other day or something and see if it makes a difference in my sleep. So that's what I'm going to do. And I don't think I will see you guys again tonight. I'm probably going to see you guys tomorrow. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I don't have anything tomorrow. It turns out I have no training. My only training day was today. Um, so tomorrow I think I'm just going to like brush up and like read like on ER and like, you know, nursing stuff. So you guys can come along with that. I'll show you guys like the textbooks and the material that I've been looking at. So maybe that would be interesting for some of you. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it's Friday. My hair is looking crazy, I need to go fix that situation. Um, I'm just going to start with some coffee. I slept so well last night, oh my god. I was so tired, I went to bed at like eight o'clock and I'm waking up now at nine. So I slept like 13 hours, yes, love it, I'm so tired. Um, I'm just gonna make myself some coffee, go do my hair, and then I'm gonna start studying for the day. Okay, it's now about 10 30 and as you see i went ahead and curled my hair because it was looking a hot mess my battery died actually so while that was charging i did some dishes i folded some laundry what else did i do i think that's about it um so now i'm gonna sit down and do a bit of studying because um switching departments is not easy and there's a lot of things to get used to so i just thought i'd share with you guys some of the books that i'll be looking over but like i said i need to look over like bilingual terms like terms that are in french that i don't know like all the abbreviations like people were talking and i'm like what are you even talking about like in english hypertension is htn but in french it's hta like a cbc in french is fsc and they were talking about fsc and i was like oh my god i'm not even gonna ask what that is but what the fuck is that and it's like it's a cbc so and then oh my god they're cross match they call code 50 or something anyway there's so many terms i don't have to get used to and i'm really scared but anyways um so the first one I actually I got this one last year because I wanted to get better at EKGs. So I got most of these on Amazon. I think this one was like ten or twenty dollars, and it's EKG uh, Learn Rhythm Interpretation and Arrhythmias Easily by Dr. Russell, and it's like super straightforward. It's really like a word document, like printed. Um, I started looking at it, but it's very like I like it because it tells you exactly like what the the arrhythmia is or whatever and then it just describes it and it shows an example of it so i'm gonna look through this really quickly i also got this book on amazon this was more pricey this was like 40 dollars, so it's definitely an investment um but this is the rapid access guide for triage and emergency nursing and i actually really like this i'm about here i think or i don't know where i am what i like about it is that it shows you like the emergencies so, like respiratory emergencies and then i'll tell you like chief complaints red flags and then it goes into like the different emergencies like here gives you tips there's a lot of pediatrics which is good for me dyspnea so like what questions to ask what to look for all that stuff so i really like this and it goes by system so that's great so i'm going to be looking at that as well i've been slowly reading it but i really need to start like actually <laughs> looking at it then one of my um old uh like clinical teachers did my cpr this year and she was giving away all these textbooks because she was like cleaning her house or whatever and she gave me these two so she gave me the wound care made incredibly easy or visual and i have this one for the icu that i had bought when i was doing my rotation and i thought i wanted to go into icu probably should have gotten the er one but whatever um and so i haven't looked at well i've kind of like looked at it a little bit but um sorry there's like a post-it it's making noise but anyway it seems like very visual and yum and explains i hope it explains like what to use for different types of wounds because that's really what i need to know uh because i kind of suck at wound care and i've never gotten like a proper course on it so i feel like this will help me 
Then I have this one that's also for EKG. I want to start with this one and then if I need more in detail, I'll just go to this one because this one is definitely more detailed. And then I also, this is my health and physical assessment from when I was in school. And this is like one of the only textbooks I kept. And I just want to review the neuro assessment because I feel like I don't really, I haven't been doing like detailed neuro assessments. Like I've been doing more like rest and cardiac and GI and stuff. And I feel like I really need to brush up on my neuro assessment because in ER, obviously you have to do like a full detailed head to toe. So I'm going to look at this for the neuro assessment. Um... And then, yeah, so I think I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna start with. I think I might actually start with this and I'll just like take notes and stuff and then I'll work through these um, a little bit later. Okay, so I just did a really, really quick head to toe. Like I did not do like all the tests and all like this because I feel like if I need to do these, I'll just get like myself a guideline or something because I'm never gonna remember all this. Um, so I just did like really, really like simple like mental status, their speech, memory, um, emotional status, and obviously there's more that goes into this, but I just wrote like what the textbook had for it. Motor function, sensory function, so like gait, balance, strength bilaterally, and then sensory function, like touch and whatever. And then I tried to write it in French. I had to use Google Translate for some of these. And oh my god, I feel like this took me like three times as long as this. So this is going to be definitely interesting. Okay, um, that's all I wanted to know, really. I mean, I know there's a lot more. I think I'm going to move on to the EKG and like practice some things. So wish me luck. I'm just over here reading my EKG book and... A thought just came to me yesterday when I was in my training um, so basically I from what the girl was saying is that there aren't a lot of bachelor nurses where I'm gonna be working like the area they're more like just like CGIP nurses or LPNs and the way she was talking was this as if like bachelor's degree is like such an accomplishment and it's gonna open all these doors and like like there's so many things that I can do that like the LPNs can do and all this stuff because I've never worked with LPNs before like I know their scope of practice But I would never worked with them before and I think that okay, this is off topic But this I'm gonna have a lot of trouble. I already have trouble delegating as it is and Even like when I would work with our PABs I would feel bad and guilty asking them to change one of my patients because I was like They already have so much on their plate like I can just do it myself You know like I'll just take some time and do it myself and I just felt bad because I don't know, I feel like they so much gets thrown onto them and they just like, like, oh, well, you're the PAB, so you should change the diapers. Like, I so don't look at it that way. And our unit before was like so not like that. And so I feel like having to work with an LPN, I'm gonna feel guilty about delegating things to her because I'm like, I don't know. Like, I know it's like, it's like a co like cooperation and like teamwork and we work together, but I think it's definitely gonna take some getting used to because I'm just gonna feel bad like oh can you go do my vitals for me like you're not my slave like I that's just I feel like I'm treating them like slaves I don't know it's gonna be so weird and I feel like I'm just gonna like not be able to delegate at first and get like so overwhelmed anyways that's off topic what I meant to say was that yeah they were talking about like if this was a great accomplishment and I was like oh my god I feel like I should be smarter than I am like I don't and now like looking at all this stuff I'm like I don't feel smart I feel like I have so many knowledge gaps and it's really scary because I'm I'm afraid that they're all like gonna expect me to know everything especially since i have experience let me know if some of you guys like switch jobs and felt this way i feel like i don't know it's just like a i feel like because i have a bachelor they're gonna expect me to like be super smart and like know everything and i feel like i know nothing like all these emergency medications like all these emergency situations like a hundred percent lpns and like non-bachelor nurses that have done this for years are like so much smarter than me and are going to teach me so much and i'm really excited for that but I don't know i just felt like they were talking and i was like oh my god i don't feel smart and maybe that's just because like like but if you like from an outsider's perspective like you like i do know a lot but as the person living it i feel like everything i know is just like common sense and i feel like it's not i don't know 
I don't know, it's a really weird feeling, so I'm excited, I'm anxious more than excited to see how that's gonna go, but I just thought I would mention this because um, this is not like, like changing jobs and changing department, changing departments is not such a smooth transition, like you need to get, you. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. If you guys have gone through this, please let me know. Give me some advice because I'm scared, like, out of my mind. I don't know. I feel like I don't want to let them down. And I feel like they're going to expect, I don't know. I just don't want them to look at me as stupid. Like, oh my God, she doesn't know anything. And how is she even a bachelor nurse? Like, she's so stupid. She doesn't know anything. I know it's not going to be like that, but I'm just, like, so afraid to let them down and to let myself down. I don't know. This is... This is crazy. Anyways, um, I'm going to get back to my EKG interpretation and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> also, this is super random, but I feel like I'm having a deja vu of something. Um, I think I'm going to make myself like an EKG interpretation cheat sheet because like there's the five step approach and I'm never going to remember like all the questions to ask myself about each of like the complexes and stuff. So I was going to write it down on paper, but I think I'm going to make like a little cheat sheet and just like print it and try to laminate it with like tape or something and then just keep it. Um, maybe I'll try to keep it like attached to my ID card. That way I can always have it with me. Um, anyway, I'll show you guys when I figure it out. Okay, so what I ended up doing and I don't know why, but I think I'm so clever because of this. <laughs> Um, so I just typed out like the five-step approach on word and then I had this printer paper Not printer paper. What am I talking about? I had the sticker paper and I printed it on it And what I did so I have like my ID thing here and I have two cards so I have my ID here and then I have an on the back of it It has like all the codes and whatever, but then I have this other one from my um, old hospital that I had like my vacutainer like the order to draw them in so I just thought I'd keep that on there and on the back I had like extensions but what I did is I just glued it on the back here and I think I'm going to secure it with some tape so that it's like permeable imp impermeable not permeable impermeable in case like water gets on it or something um so yeah so I always have it at my fingertips and then I printed a second one that I think I'm going to put on my clipboard as like a reminder um and then I also printed my name to put on my clipboard, but it's kind of small. So I might just like write my name on the on the sticker paper and like stick it on my clipboard as well. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I have these two clipboards. I don't know which one I'm going to use. This I got just at the dollar store, but I thought it was really cute. So I have this one. And this is an old one that I had that I used to use when I was a student. It has my name on the back here. But I have the inpatient sepsis algorithm um from my old hospital and i think i might actually take this one because i feel like this will be really useful it just here let me give you guys a close-up so it just tells you does the patient have any two of the following uh symptoms if they do yes suspected or confirmed infection if yes look at this uh is the bp less is the systolic bp less than 90 if yes then you have this if not then you have this and whatever so it just tells you like and i feel like this will be really useful in er so i think i might actually take this one and then i'll just put my name on here even though it's on the back um because i mean i printed it so I might as well use it It's now 1.20 and I actually stopped studying and decided to just edit the second part of the vlog. Um, basically what I filmed yesterday and what I filmed today. I just wanted to get a head start because I would like to post it tomorrow morning. And then I had to look up like music for my clips and stuff. So I did that and then I was hungry because obviously it's 1.20 and I haven't eaten anything. And my boyfriend finished the blueberry waffles. I'm so sad. I'll have to go buy more in a big box. Um, but I just had carrots with some hummus and I... I wanted to make like an egg scramble, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to wait a bit. And then I'm just going to have some of that rice that I had for lunch for dinner two nights ago for lunch yesterday. I'm going to have for lunch again today. I had filmed a clip of uh, what I like the EKG cheat sheet I put on my, on my ID badge. But for some reason it didn't film. So I'm going to show you guys now that this is what it ends up looking like. It's really cute. It's so small. Can you need to focus? Probably not because my face is there, but um, it's super small. It fits right on here. I just put a piece of tape on top to like make sure that it doesn't get wet. And yeah, so that's that. Okay, so I just took a bath. I just took like a little midday bath and also I did a face mask, hence why um, uh, my makeup, well, I didn't have much makeup, but I put a little bit of makeup on is off and I put my glasses on. My eyes been red. I don't know why. It's like irritated from putting my contacts in or something a couple days ago. So I just put my glasses back in to be more comfortable. I don't know what time it is, but um, I'm just going to go keep watching YouTube videos in the living room.
So, although it's still early in the day, it's only about 4 o'clock, I think I'm just going to end the vlog here because there's really not much I'm going to be doing this afternoon except for like making dinner and watching YouTube. So, I really want to get this vlog edited so I can upload it tomorrow morning. So, I hope you guys enjoyed these three days in my life. All different, all the same. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And I think my next video is going to be my first shift in the ERs. And that's probably going to come out sometime next week. So, definitely look out for that. I love you all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.